and welcome back to Let's Play Trio of Towns. Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns. Anyways, uh, before we head to West Town to grab that milker I kind of forgot to buy, let's actually till a bit of earth before we go. Just because, uh, if we do this, we can just stop by for, like, a bite to eat. Man, this extra money is actually a lot more helpful than I thought it was. Honestly, I was kind of planning on going for the animal lover, uh, one instead. Okay, yeah, let's go get some food. If only because you get an extra heart for pets, and pets take forever to get hearts with. But you know what? I'm glad we started out with the extra money. In this game, money is everything. Basically, your pace in this game is going to be, de be determined by how much money you have. Especially on veteran mode. On seedling mode, I guess it would be a lot quicker to go through the game. But on veteran mode, yeah, we need money. Oh, while we're here. Uh, let's do a bit more part time a few more part-time jobs. I can't do either of these, but I can do this one. Let's go make a delivery. Actually, before we make a delivery, let's grab that milker and brush and everything. So yeah, we need the milker, give me that, a brush, and a pitchfork. The pitchfork is just to keep the barn clean. Because the barn will get dirty over time, and it, I think it stresses your animals out. So it's always good to keep it nice and clean. Alright, so let's grab that package. Hey, Miranda. So yeah, this is how delivery jobs work. Basically, you go to the person who wants you to deliver something, grab the package, and then just go give it to the person. So this is for Lizette. Uh, where is Lizette? She- oh, whoops. She should be around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. Hey, Lizette. Here's your package. Alright. Oh, before we do anything, though, uh, let's see. I do know Lizette likes mint, so let's give her some. Oh, wait, before I do that, let's register it. Here's the thing about registering something. So if you push R, you get this, like, quick select menu with all your tools. Uh, per fertilizer is a tool, by the way. Here are your seeds. And then over here is what you register. So I have mint registered right now. So you don't have to go into your menu every single time you want to take some out. Basically, if you- I always put, like, gifts over there that I always use, or, uh, treats. It's helpful and it's quick. Oh, before we go, let's try some new food. Not only will it restore our stamina, but it will make the townspeople like us some more. So let's see if we can find something that has, like, a special effect on us. Hmm. Let's grab this chef special. I don't know what we're gonna eat. What are we eating? We are eating... I think we ordered a waffle. Actually, yeah, that looks like a waffle, some apple juice, and a cupcake. Oh, and it gave a special effect. I think that one, it uh, makes people like us more. I always forget what the special effects are in this game. I think, yeah, I think this is one gives us like more relationship when we talk to people. Oh, grapes. We are gonna get to know grapes very well. That's like literally the thing that I need to get ASAP in this game are grapes. Remember how, like, in, uh, in A Wonderful Life, it was like, iron was the thing that cut you off early on? In this game, it's not early on, but we need to get grapes as soon as possible if I don't want this LP to go on for years. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, let's go home and get back to work. We have some more crops we need to plant. I'm probably not going to be able to plant every single thing in my backpack tonight, or today. What time is it, by the way? Oh, it's already past five. Never mind. I was gonna go see if I can ship the milk today, but unfortunately, I think they already came for the shipments. Hi, Pepper. Let's grab... Where's that milker? Let's grab the milk. Goody. So yeah, we got one piece of milk from her. I'll ship it in the morning. I do want to keep it for now, just in case we get, like, a milk shipping job. Uh, from part-time jobs. Where's my hoe? There it is. I couldn't read it for a second there. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna get everything planted tonight. I think I'm just gonna finish off these ones and... Oh, I do want to get some grass planted, though. You know what? I do have... Whatchamacallit. I do still have some bread, don't I? Oh, yeah. Let's grab some more bread. Let's eat two of them. 
Whoop, nope, that's enough. I'm pretty sure Uncle Frank meant to give us like a week's worth of food that we are almost through in our very first day. It just shows that we're working hard. There we go. Alright, so this is gonna be grass. Grass does not need to be watered, so we can just plant that and just leave it. And down here, let's just plant some potatoes. I'll use the turnips on the other two fields up there tomorrow. Today, I kind of don't feel like doing all that work again. Uh, I need some more food. One more piece of bread. Because we still need to water everything. Oh, this thing needs to be refilled too. I'll do that in a minute. So technically, we could water every crop. A uh, crop? Crop, yeah, that is the right word. Crop twice a day uh, if we water them early enough. And it actually does speed up their growth. But honestly, with turnips, or not turnips, radishes, they only grow in a few days anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Basically, if I'm around like later at night and they can be watered again, I'll do it. But I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. Not right now. Not while right now. That would probably make us pass out. All right, there we go. Let's head to bed. Actually, wait, before we go to bed, are there any holidays coming up? No, I forgot. They don't put anything on your calendar right away. Okay. Oh, Hector's birthday is on Friday. I don't know what Hector likes. Does he like eggs? He might like eggs. All right, let's just go to bed. Oh, we get a little tutorial about animals. I'm pretty sure I already explained animals last episode, so I think we can just skip through this. Yep, I bought myself some livestock on day one. Yeah, no, Frank, I know what I'm doing. You don't need to do this. No, Frank, we, we don't need to do this. I know what... Okay, fine. All right, time to learn about animals. Oh, yeah, he has a sheep, doesn't he? Wait a minute, Frank, why do you have a chicken in your barn? Actually, Frank, this is a small barn. You're not supposed to have this many animals in here at once. Frank, what are you doing? You're breaking all the rules. But yeah, pretty basic. Talk to them every day, brush them, uh, take good care of them, and they'll give you nice stuff. I'm just gonna skip through all these. We don't need to know about any of that stuff. Oh, wait, what are you giving me? Wait a minute, what are these? Are these uh, treats or food or fodder? Oh, it's fodder. And chicken feed. I don't really need those. And 2,000 gold. Frank, I don't need any more money. Actually, no, that's a lie. I need a lot of money. Thanks for the money, Frank. Alright, so let's get to work. Also, yeah, we got paid for our part-time work yesterday. Awesome. So what's our town rank at right now? We could do better. So like I said before, my main goal right now is to get to town rank D with West Town ASAP. But we'll just do that at our own pace. Just work on the farm, make sure everything's taken care of. Wow, I have a lot of plant uh, things planted. Might have gone a bit too far. Actually, no. This is all how I always start the game. Gotta start this game right off the bat going crazy with crops. Because in this game, crops are actually very valuable. Both as, uh, what is it? Like, ingredients and as stuff you can sell to make money. Eating, not so much. The thing about eating in this game is that it, you pretty much have to eat cooked stuff. Like, eating the raw ingredients will almost give you absolutely no uh, stamina back. Even if it would make sense, like drinking a bottle of milk would make you feel better. Nope. You kind of have to cook it first. Besides, why would you be uh, drinking a bottle of milk you could sell? Oh, speaking of selling, let's go check on our animals after this. Oh, and I still need to also work on those two uh, empty squares up there. We'll do that later. Alright, radishes and potatoes are good. We're gonna need to grab a meal while we're in town. Hey there, Pepper. How you doing? So yeah, first things first. Time to brush her. Because they will get cranky and stressed if you don't brush them. And then time to milk her. There we go. 
And then, normally I would also give her a treat, but I don't have any. So let's just take her outside. So yeah, when you put them outside, they're in this little, like, pen area. And they can stay outside, graze, and all that stuff. You do want to put them back inside at night, though. Just because they get stressed out if they're left out overnight. And chickens don't lay eggs if they're out overnight. Alright. Well, we're pretty much done with our farm work. No, we're not. I have these squares I need to take care of. Uh, do I have another piece of potato bread? Yes, I do. Wait a minute. Why did my milk split up? Oh, it's already changed in quality once already. Okay. So yeah, let's plant the rest of those uh, turnip seeds. I'm feeling kind of tired. Whoops. Unfortunately, we won't have access to tool upgrading for a little while now. Ooh, wait. I need another piece of bread. I see two pieces of bread. Yeah, the hoe, honestly, is probably... The hoe and the axe are probably, like, the most uh, labor-intensive tools you have. Or, like, stamina-intensive tools. Everything else tends to be okay. But those two, two tools, especially right now, will make us just collapse if we're not careful. I guess it does make sense. Those are, like, the heaviest tools we have. The watering can is probably pretty easy to handle. Like, it's 90% gravity. You just tilt it and let the water come out. Oh, I need more water. And we haven't used the sickle yet, but we don't really need to use the sickle. Ah, uh, I'm not going to risk passing out. I'm just going to eat all my potato bread. In terms of the fertilizer, though, I'm going to wait on that. Because right now, we don't really need to fertilize any of this stuff. I want to fertilize crops that will, like, regrow over time. Alright, so shipping things. We can't change destinations yet, because we don't have any. So let's just stick this milk in there. And this egg. Do I have anything else I can put in there for now? No, I kind of want to keep all the rest of that stuff. Oh, speaking of keeping the rest of the stuff, let's actually go put it in storage. I don't know why I'm carrying it around with me. So storage is our friend. Pretty much, if you don't need it, like, on you at all times, put it in storage. Oh, uh, I want to keep the rest of the stuff. Because you do have a limited inventory space. 50 slots sounds like a lot. Actually, is it 50? Yeah, it's 50. 50 sounds like a lot, but it fills up really quickly in this game, considering how much stuff you just pick up. So let's head back to West Town. We have some part-time work we could do. Is there anything else I need to buy while I'm in town? Uh, we could probably grab some lunch at some point. Oh, speaking of lunch, actually, no, I don't think Uncle Frank likes us enough. Like I said before, actually, have I said this before? I think I did. Uh, you can actually have lunch with people in this game, but only if they like you enough. I don't think Frank likes us enough yet. Oh, I can't do any of this stuff. Thanks, game. Never mind. Alright, so much for part-time work. Is there anything else we can do in town right now? Uh, I don't need to buy anything. You don't have any of the good treats available yet, not until rank D. Hmm. Is there anyone we, who we haven't met yet? We met Carrie. Oh, I know who we have. We haven't met Marco yet. You can see him on the map. Uh, I think he's upstairs. Also, this place doesn't open till noon. It is a lunch place after all. Dinner, bar, whatever. There he is. Hi, Marco. So yeah, Marco is the actual, uh, what is it? Owner of the bar, grill place. He's a nice man. We'll get to know him pretty well, too. Uh, they're almost open. Let's grab some lunch. Let's try something new. Also, you could usually buy recipes here, but we don't have a kitchen yet, so that's not gonna happen. Alright, so let's try in, uh, let's try Doria. Is that a real- I think Doria is a real thing. I've never had it before. It sounds... good, I guess? It's rice and cheese. And I think like tomato sauce or something. Alright, what did we get for this one? Uh, no special effects. Alright. Oh well, stamina is stamina. Hi, Carrie. Alright, so let's see. Lizette is open. Let's go see Lizette. I still want to befriend her just because it would give me more town rank. 
Uh, we could also buy flower seeds here, but we don't have any more space right now. Actually, what do you have for sale right now? Ooh, Margaret and Bellflowers. I do want to plant some Bellflowers later, and keep them for uh, something else later. Also, the thing about flowers is that they don't have a size requirement, or a size trait. So using, like, uh, the size fertilizer on them is completely pointless. Huh. Here, I'm gonna grab three bags of bellflowers right now, and then I'm just gonna stick them in storage until I can use them. Because I think I need, like, 20 bellflowers. Actually, I don't think. I know I need, like, 20 bellflowers uh, for something later on. Hi, Miranda. I don't think I need anything from you. Let me double check. We could expand our bag right now, but that's gonna wait. Eh, we could. You know what? I'm gonna buy a por uh, portable pocket calendar real quick. Everything else, nah, we don't need it. Let's get out of here. So, that's pretty much everything we can do today. We could just head back and go to bed. Yeah, you know what? There's nothing else we can do for the day. Especially since all the part-time jobs involve stuff that we have no way of fulfilling right now. We can't even buy the stuff and ship it ourselves. Uh, let's go see what Frank is up to. I think he's having lunch. Hey Frank, can I join you? No, we can't. He doesn't like me enough yet. But we're family. You should give me a free lunch every once in a while. Oh well. Yeah, let's head back. I don't have anything to give him either. There's nothing there to pick yet. Oh, there's Hector and his son. Hey, Hector. Hi, Megan. I do want to talk to people as I come across them, just for, uh, because it does give you, like, a bit of, uh, friendliness points, or friendship points. Oh, that's something we haven't looked at, at yet. Let's head home real quick. I need to go check my bookshelf. Animals are... They should be okay. I'll bring them inside before I go to bed. The grass will be ready tomorrow, so we're not going to have to worry about fodder for a while. Or ever. Oh, lamp. Heh. <laughs> I'm wasting so much... Actually, no, this thing isn't electric, is it? Oh, well. Lights are on. So let me check my bookshelf real quick. Uh, what am I looking at? I think it's farm report? No, that's just me. Resident info. Oh, nope, that's animal info. Whoops. Resident info. Here we go. So yeah, we get to see, like, how much people like us or dislike us. Right now, absolutely no one likes us. We've only been here for, like, two days, so I guess that makes sense. Also, we can change our name if we wanted to. I'm not going to, because there's no point. Right, is there anything else I need to ship today? No, everything else I want to keep. Oh, I forgot to give uh, Lizette some mint. I'll do that again tomorrow. Actually, we only have one piece of mint left. Is there any more mint on the ground around here? Oh, I know what we could do. We could do this, like, right now when we don't have to worry about any more stamina use for the day. Let's cut down a tree. Uh, right now with our level 1 axe, we can only do broadleaf trees. So, where would I need... Hmm. This one is probably blocking these two squares right here. And the view of the uh, chicken coop. So let's cut down this tree. Plus, I'm going to need the lumber eventually anyways. So, the thing about our axe right now, it sucks. It's heavy, and it's very dull. But this tree will go down eventually. I also don't have any more food on me, so if I start running out of stamina, I'm just going to stop. I swear it's going to... Okay, yeah, we should probably stop. Okay, yeah, we're stopping. We'll keep cutting that down tomorrow. It's early, but I'm going to bed. We are kind of out of food. I don't want to run all the way back to town for more food. And there's not honestly not much else we can do today. So yeah, I'm off to bed. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have some part-time jobs that we can actually do. That aren't like just shipping. Oh, what's this? Oh, now you're gonna explain Town Link rank. I mean, I already did this, so you don't need to do it again. I kind of forgot that the tutorial was this late in. Actually, I kind of forgot there was a tutorial at all. We're doing fine, Frank. Alright, let's hear about this. Yep. 
So yeah, basically Town Link rank is basically how much the town likes us. Right now they're okay with us. We're an E rank farmer. No, no, Frank, I've already looked at this. No, it's okay, we don't need to look at it again, Frank. Okay, thanks for that. So like I said before, our main goal right now is to get to rank D as soon as possible. That means I need to do every single part-time job I can, buy a ton of stuff from stores, and just be a good farmer and socialize. Alright. Well, back to work. So how are our crops doing? Is the grass ready yet? Let me see. Where's my sickle? Oh good, it is ready. So yeah, that'll just keep regrowing every other day. Like I said, we don't need more than two pieces of uh, grass growing. By the end of this, we're probably going to end up with like a couple of hundred pieces of grass by winter. Because the grass does die in winter because it's grass. Grass tends not to do very well in snow. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, how are the other crops doing? Still growing, huh, radishes? It takes four to five days for those to grow, and we planted those on the third. So they should be ready by around the seventh or the... Seventh or eighth. Because there is, like, a range of when it will finish growing. That depends on, A, the type of soil you put it in, and B, how many times you watered it. Because actually it's not based on days, it's based on the number of waterings you've done. Also, I'm doing the crops before the animals on purpose, because I want my animals to be eating the uh, spicy fodder I put in there, instead of grazing outside. Just because it'll increase their coat. And the sooner we get that started, the better. Because the uh, requirements for like winning some of the later game challenges with animals, like the festivals and stuff, is actually really high. So it's a good thing that we're getting it started now. Ooh, I don't have any food, do I? No, no I don't. Uh, I might have to come back and finish this later. Okay, yeah, maybe it was a mistake to plant this much so quickly. I need to go to town and grab some food. Except for the fact that it's still only 7.30. Uh, we can just do some uh, part-time jobs on the way, I guess. Is there anything I can pick up right now? Oh, a walnut. Eating a walnut probably won't give me very much energy, but let's try it anyways. Oh, it gave- oh, it actually gave me more than I thought it would. Huh. Maybe I was just going after the really low energy stuff. Because I don't rem- actually, I don't think I've ever eaten these. Because by the time I started really needing stuff, I had like, a ton of bread I just made in my kitchen. Because that's like, really easy to make. Huh, actually, yeah. That's not bad. Let's just keep eating walnuts then. Or not. Did I eat that? Oh, okay, fine, never mind. I guess it only gives you so much. So that was enough to get, like, one or two waterings in. Okay, it was enough to get one watering in. Okay, let's go have a real meal. It's a shame you can't order food to go from the restaurant. That would be so helpful right now. Although I do want to keep doing part-time work in that case. Because sometimes when you do a part-time job for someone, they'll give you, like, a free gift of, uh, food. I especially want to see if I can get it with Frank, because Frank gives you pizza. And it Also, I forgot about these, this, uh... Sometimes the wild bears will try to attack you. They can't do anything, but they're there. But yeah, like I was saying, Frank gives you pizza. And the thing about pizza is that Frank loves pizza. So you can, like, give it right back to him for a huge relationship boost. So let me see, who wants work right now? Megan, Megan, Package... What the? Oh, package. And, uh, Lizette. Or not Lizette. Uh, Miranda. Alright, so let's do these two. Let's help Megan around a bit. Time to shear some sheep for her. Unless we get to work with sheep. Who doesn't love sheep? They're adorable and fluffy. Here we go. So yeah, it's just like, uh, milking animals- or milking cows. Just go up to them whole day and wait for it to finish. If we upgrade our tools, it'll actually go by really quickly. Actually, I think it's almost instantaneous at, like, max level. Still, it's not that big of a deal. 
That being said, it does slowly drain your stamina as you do it, so getting it done quickly is actually a good idea. And unfortunately, we can't keep the wool. I would have liked to, but nope. Yeah, well, 110 gold. And nothing free. Hey, Me oh wait, you're not Megan. Hey, uh, Hector. I just want to get to know you better. Have we met Noel yet? Oh, no, we haven't. Hey, Noel. And then, yeah, we met Colin. Who is Megan's grandson, I believe. Uh, did we talk to Frank yet? Hi, Frank. Oop, nope, I'm not trying to harvest your crops. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Nope, I'm good. Whoop, no, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, sorry. Alright, let's head to town. Wasn't there another part-time job we could do with Megan? It was the weeder one, right? Let me see. Yeah, we must also pick up this one. Because we can just go see Lizette again. I don't remember who Ethan is, but we'll see the star above their head, so hopefully we can find them soon. I think Ethan is one of the shopkeepers in, like, one of the generic shops in the lower level of uh, West Town. Alright, let's grab some weeds. Also, unlike the sheep one, we actually get to keep these weeds, which actually is a better thing than it sounds like. Like I said before, everything in this game has a use. Some uses are better than others. Weeds actually do have a pretty important use later on. Okay, it's not important, but it is to me. So yeah, I just want to stick those in my storage box and wait a while. Fortunately, your storage box is also apparently a refrigerator because nothing ever goes bad in there. And yeah, we got free weeds out of that too. Okay, so let's go see if we can find Ethan. I think they are like one of the generic shopkeepers. I don't see a star above anyone's head. Huh. Oh darn it. Oh well. If we see them, we can just grab it. Alright, Miranda. Just give me the package. We're taking this to Lizette. Hmm. Maybe we'll do a lap around town to see if we can find Ethan. Or I could just be derping really hard about who Ethan is. Which is also a possibility, but it didn't give me a portrait. The thing about me in this game is, I seem to recognize people more on their portraits than their names. Like, sometimes, I don't know why, but I always get people mixed up uh, in my head if I just get their names. Which is why some of the older Harvest Moon games are a bit weird for me before they have portraits for everyone when they talk. I don't know. It's just me. I'm weird. Also, someone left some perfectly good cabbages out. And it's just going there. No one's harvesting it. They wouldn't mind if I just, you know, snuck up and grabbed a couple, would they? Maybe? Yeah, let me check my part-time notes real quick. So yeah, we need to look for Ethan. Actually, wait. I just remembered something. Is Ethan one of the, uh, postmen? It is! That's where I remember that name from. No, give me the package. Okay, fine. I'll go over here and grab the package. There we go. So yeah, you come here and help out with, like, mail delivery. And then later on, you can send your own mail. Oh, while well, I'm here. Hi, Wayne. Can I have lunch with you? No, fine. I kind of need food. And it's not noon yet, so I can't have lunch with, uh, at the restaurant. Oh, well. Uh, I just remembered. Who is this for again? Marco. That's right. I need to go to the restaurant anyways. Man, I want to buy a pet, but we don't have a pet house yet. I do want to grab a dog as soon as possible. Just so that I can make them start loving me earlier. Okay, uh, Markham looks like he's upstairs. Hey, Marco. Delivery. Marco, take your package. Awesome. So, that's all the part-time work done for today. Uh, still about halfway. We're gonna need to ship a lot more if we want to get to D rank. Or just order, like, a ton of food. Oh, I still have some mint I can give to Lizette. So, what can we try today? Let's try an omelette. Alright, omelette. 
what kind of boost will you give me? Please be strength. Like the muscle icon. Oh, good. So yeah, right now, our stamina is gonna... I'm not sure if it actually makes our strikes more effective or our tools more effective. Or if it just uh, slows down your stamina drain. Either way, it's a good thing. That's probably my favorite buff. That one or the money one. Because there is one that makes it like so that your shipments uh, get more get more money, that is. Hi, Julie. I didn't want to talk to you, Julie. Hey, Lizette. Here, I have something for you. Have some mint. Yeah, Lizette is probably one of the easier townspeople to befriend just because she loves mint, and mint is, like, everywhere. Well, normally it's everywhere. Actually, it hasn't really been spawning around lately right now. I don't know why. Alright, so let's head back. We're pretty much done in town for today. Is there anything else I need to do, actually? We don't need any more supplies. We're good on supplies. I just need to head back, finish watering the crops. One minute. This is sparkling. I'm gonna take that aloe. But yeah, we're pretty much good. I'm going home. And someone is opening the garage. Oh, that's a rock. I want that rock. Give me the rock. Is there anyone else we haven't talked to? We've talked to all of you already today. Uh, anything good on the tree? Not yet. Oh, I kind of wish you could just grab animals and take them home with you. But no, they're kind of get upset if you hold them for too long. Unfortunately, you can't get a free pet that way. You have to buy it through a store. Even though in real life, wouldn't you want to maybe adopt the stray rather than having to go to a breeder and get a whole new one? Just go to the pound and grab a dog. A loving dog. That's good for you. Make sure you actually check if it's a good fit for your personality before you do anything like that. Oh, wait. Did I not bring my cows outside? Whoops. Oh, I, oh, that's right. I didn't take care of my animals today because I didn't have the stamina. Uh, that's okay. We don't need to bring them out every single day, but it's good for their stress levels. Honestly, at some point, uh, you don't really need to brush them anymore. It might make them look a bit unhappy, but... Because bringing them outside will lower their stress. But right now, they're actually both really good in terms of stress. So we don't really need to worry about that. Hey, Mayo. I'm going to grab that. And I see you've been eating your food. Alright, you have five left. I don't have any more spicy food, though. So yeah, once I get through that, I'll probably... Honestly, I'm probably just going to keep buying spicy fodder rather than the chicken feed. Just because I usually use my big animals as my main, like, focus for the big prizes. The chickens are good too, but the benefit you get from bigger animals is, is just higher. Even though right now the milk isn't worth very much, just because we're just getting to know each other and she has no hearts with me. Well, she. Alright, off to bed. Tomorrow's Hector's birthday. Oh! I wonder what he would like. I wonder if he'll like eggs. We can try giving him an egg tomorrow. And we got 240 gold. Awesome. So what's our town rank at right now? Hmm, a little under halfway. We need to do better. I want to get there before the 15th. Although, to be fair, we haven't really been shipping anything to them. That's like a big, uh, what is it? A big part of our town ranking. That's like the most steady one. Shipping, buying stuff, and part-time jobs at the main three. And obviously, friendship stuff, too. But that's gonna have to wait. Because right now, we do not have very much friendship with anyone in town. Not even our own uncle. He's our uncle. He's the fun one. I'm assuming, considering what we know of our father. Dad doesn't seem like a super fun person to be around, honestly, sometimes. He's a bit intense. Especially when it comes to his disapproval of us being a farmer. Uh, looks like everything here is growing nicely. Actually, you know what? Let's go check on the cow real quick. Oh, you made a mess. Let's clean that up. So yeah, that's doo doo. It's gonna go away now. Let's get you nice and clean. I just want you to love me, okay? Because the more your animals love you, uh, the better products they'll give in terms of their worth. Which is why Animal, what is it called? Uh, Animal Lover, or whatever it was called. It's actually a pretty good one to start out with. Because it automatically starts them off with one heart of affection. You ate, right? I think you ate. 
I see, there's one way to find out. Did you eat? No, not yet. Alright, I'll wait for you to eat then. I'll come push you outside in a bit. Oh, you made a mess too. Well, let's clean up that doo-doo. Even though I'm pretty much... I'm pretty sure that doo-doo isn't supposed to be brown for a chicken. You know what? I'm not gonna think about what that was. Let's just keep watering the crops. Uh, I'll grab Pepper Al in a second. Probably gonna have to run to town and grab some more food again. I don't mind. Every little bit I spend on food is, like, more town rank points. And besides, we have plenty of money. I'm gonna burn through this money so quickly. We're already halfway done with that 50,000 gold we started with. If this was seedling mode, that 50,000 gold would have probably lasted us, like, the entire... Actually, not the entire year, but probably at least until the end of summer. In veteran mode, it'll... We will be lucky if we have money left over, like, at the end of the season. Just because you spend so much money on ingredients and stuff in this game, especially on food. Oh my god, you spend so much money on food here. In a uh, veteran mode. And tool upgrades. Tool upgrades are so much more important just because of the whole less stamina to work with thing. And someone just sneezed. Uh, that's not ready yet. That's not ready yet. Oh wait, branches. I do want to collect as many branches as I can, though. We can buy them later on, but that's money I don't want to spend. Hi, Frank. Uh, okay. Oh, whoa, whoops. No, I didn't want a tutorial. Uh, can I skip this? No, I can't. I can set it to auto mode. Alright, we're done. Didn't mean to ask for more tutorials. We're good. Alright, let's go see what part-time jobs are available to us right now. Because it's going to be a little while before we can eat. Oh, wait. Oh, Ford is here. So, yeah. Remember? Uh, actually, I'm going to wait on introducing him. The game will introduce him for us. I kind of forgot that he arrived this early. Actually, wait. If Ford is here, that means more part-time work will be available. Oh, I kind of hope we get the one that I'm thinking of today. So yeah, remember how the clinic doctor wasn't around when we got here? Oh, now he's back. His name is Ford. He's, uh, interesting. Uh, sure. What are you doing? I think Ford is also a potential bachelor. Wayne, is there something on my face? Oh, yeah, I guess there was something on my face. I mean, we've been working in the dirt all day, okay? And honestly, I would kind of want my doctor to be nice and clean. Don't want him to be covered in dirt, like I am, apparently. Fine, I guess we'll have to wait for him. Just like a doctor. Alright, well, we have some time to kill. We're not in a huge hurry. Honestly, I'm trying to kill a bit of time until lunch anyway, so... This is fine. Oh, there he is. Hi, Ford. Yeah, the thing about Ford is, uh... He's a neat freak and can be kind of a jerk. I don't know what his heart events are like because I haven't played a female uh, game yet, but I guess he would kind of be like, uh, what is it called? I can't think of the term right now. Well, either way, he's the doctor. We'll come see him every once in a while, and if we ever pass out, we'll end up here. I think previously if we passed out, we would have ended up at uh, Uncle Frank's house. Yeah, I, I know, but we don't have a shower. I guess we could try bathing in the watering or the water source, but that seems like it's more trouble than it's worth. Actually, we could just jump in the river for a while. That could be cleaning. But yeah, Ford is here now. 
but that also means he does have some part-time work that's exclusive to Ford. There's one I'm looking for, though. Uh, let me see if it's available right now. No, it's not. Yeah, I guess it won't be available until tomorrow, if he does have it. Basically, I'm looking for the medical subject uh, part-time work, because that has a chance of giving you stamina back. It's a good idea to do that when you're, like, super low on stamina. Can't do any of this stuff yet? No, three types of milk, or three kinds of milk. I can't do that. I only can make one right now. Alright, so we have some carrier stuff. So this one goes to Marco. We can do that. We can do that to Wayne. And then we can do that to Lizette. What are you giving to Lizette every single day, Miranda? I'm starting to get a bit suspicious on what's going on here. Okay, fine. So here's the thing. We're gonna go from Miranda... Wait, no, wait. Miranda's not open yet. That's right. With the uh, shopkeepers, you can only do that when their stores are open. Are you open yet? No, not yet. Fine, we'll wait for a while then. We have like another hour to kill. Here, let's go see Ford then. I wonder what she's up to, or she, he's up to. Oh, there's a, uh, what's her name? Carrie. And Brad. Just gotta keep talking to people to make them like me more. So yeah, let's go see Ford. Hi, Ford. Man, everyone's just so down on us being a farmer. Oh well. So let's go do our deliveries for the day. What time is it? It's almost 10, I think. Oh, uh, another half an hour. I guess we'll just do these deliveries and then call it an episode. What is our town rank at right now? Eh, about halfway. Although that might increase soon considering, uh, what is it? All of our radishes are about to come into bloom. And by coming to bloom, I mean ready to be harvested. Another day or two, I think. You know what? Let's wait inside. Hi, Miranda. You sure you, you can't just give me the package right now? I mean, I'm right here. Three minutes isn't gonna kill you. There we go. Alright, give me the package. Okay, I'm over here now. Okay, whoops. Alright, well, we have the package. Let's go see Lizette. Oh, do I have any mint on me? I think I might have given away my last piece of mint. Oh no, I still have one left. Let's just go give it to her directly. Here you go, Lizette. I found some mint for you. What are you doing with all this mint anyways? Maybe cooking. Alright, so here's your package. And now, I need the package you're gonna give me. This one's for- or, actually, it's a bouquet. Yeah, that actually, actually makes sense. So that's gonna go to Wayne, and then while I'm giving it to Wayne, I can grab the package from Ethan, give that to Marco, have lunch, and then we'll call it a day. Man, everyone's just having me do stuff for them today. But then again, they're paying me, so I can't complain at all. Actually, yeah, I literally cannot complain about this. I'm getting paid. This is my job. Well, okay, farmer is my job, but still. Whoops. All right, so let's grab that package from here. And we're off to see Marco Polo. Actually, yeah, I think we'll wait until next time to have lunch. We still have like another hour and a half to kill. And then we have to go back and finish watering the crops. Yeah, I planted way too many crops at once. Uh, they might have given me too many fields to work with. Alright, there we go. And with that, we'll end things here. So, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns, more spring. And probably our very first harvest of the game. We're gonna ship radishes, because there are no turnips yet. There will be eventually. I would say that's a spoiler, but they showed turnips in the intro. So yeah, there's gonna be turnips later. So, till then.